this is the garden faucet, also called a silcock. This one happens to be frost proof. And what that means is the building is right here, but the shutoff point is way inside here. So there's no chance of this freezing, okay? And what we're going to do today, instead of running copper, is to run this. This is PEX piping, a flexible plastic piping that we can use for potable water. So you drill the hole, and then I'll start running this inside. Okay, great. Okay, I'm going to feed this PEX tubing out to you. Okay. Okay, and now I'm going to come out and make that connection outside. The watertight connection out here starts with Teflon tape on these threads right here. So we just go three or four wraps around. Okay, there's a transition fitting. The thread's on here. And then two wrenches. Okay, perfect. Now, the connection between this and the PEX is pretty interesting. What's nice about this PEX is it's flexible. We can work on it anywhere we want to. So there's a sleeve that goes on first. I want you to just hold that so it doesn't drop all the way down. And now we're going to expand this pipe. Okay, so this tool will actually expand the PEX to a larger inside diameter. I'm going to do it a couple of times. Okay, now this fitting will now fit inside. Okay, so bring the sleeve back up with the opposite side of the tool. Watch what happens. Now when I bring that together, that will never ever leak. Okay, so now, before we put this all the way back in, why don't you grab that tube of caulking. Okay, just put a little bit of caulking right there, fill it up, make it watertight. Okay, I got stainless steel screws, pull it out, yep. Okay. Take the drill. Good, we're done out here. Let's make the connection inside. Okay, on this end, to transition onto the existing copper, there's a fitting that's made for that. So I clean the inside, and I also have to clean the existing copper. Now we need to flux this. And we're ready to solder. An important rule is to always solder this fitting first before you put the PEX on. Why is that? PEX does not like to be soldered. It will melt. The PEX tubing is flexible, so it's really easy to work with. We can run it like wire, but it does have to be supported. So I use these one nail clips called talons. Now you're a little taller than me. So why don't you go there? Yeah. Get that for you. Okay. okay. You can probably put one every other joist, I'd every say. Every other joist? Yeah. There you go. Not too tight. Yeah. Good. Now we can make our final connection in here. All right, but it starts by cutting this tube to length. So I just mark it right about there. And your cutter? You got the cutter here. If you want to cut it nice and square. Good, take that tubing right away. Now, you got to put the sleeve on first. Now we're going to expand it just like we did before. And that goes on there. Now we just draw a sleeve onto the fitting. There, that won't go anywhere. Now it's time to put the handle back on the valve. That sticks on like that. You ready for a test? Let's do it. All right. Oh, there it goes. Let's see how we did. All right, Brian, it is your house, actually your castle. Okay. So you go first. All right, here do we the go. Honors. Look at that, nice. It actually worked. <laughs>